Hi, my name is Kiefer Sutherland, and I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing here. Uh, one of the things that scared me the most about being a parent was that I would poison my children by undercooking or poorly preparing their food. And so I had friends that helped me out, and I've learned a couple things along the way, and other friends have asked me to share that with them. And so for people who are nervous about cooking, uh, by no stretch am I a great cook, but I think I can help you out and show you some shortcuts. If you are a great chef, trust me, go watch something else for the next couple minutes. Right now I want to show you how to do a really simple great steak that I guarantee you will taste better than 90% of the steaks that you will get in a high-end restaurant. Uh, you get a simple New York steak, uh, rosemary and garlic. I've got salt. I season pretty favorably with that. Again, this is all to your taste. And then go with the cracked pepper. And I do that on both sides. Flip the steak. Do it again. Really simple seasoning. Doesn't need to be complicated to taste great. In fact, I find the more complicated you make it, the more chances you have to truly screw up. Now, one secret I do, and I promise you, I am not getting paid by Lowry's. So whatever seasoning salt you like, I just do a really light dusting on one end. And really light. I don't smother it. And then I take my Italian seasoning. Again, really light over the top of the stick. Unlike that. And then this is going to be the side that I sear first. So I'm going to flip it on the tin foil and let it absorb. I preheated the oven to 450 degrees. I'm going to get a frying pan right now. I'm going to turn my burner up to high. I'm going to let that get hot. You really want to feel it getting hot. Uh, to your hand, you want to feel the pan really starting to warm up, almost smoking. Uh, you'll see a very, very light haze rise. That's when you know your pan is ready. Uh, I found this great place that customizes olive oil. This has got a pretty heavy garlic scent, uh, but any olive oil will do. And once your pan starts to get hot enough, and it happens pretty quick, we're almost there. I take the olive oil. About a tablespoon and a half. Swirl that around the pan. Now I'm going to let that get really, really hot. And I'm going to sear both sides of the steak uh, for about a minute. And then I'm going to do the side of the steak for about another 30 seconds before I put it in the oven. Side down, the one I want to sear first. And once you put your steak on, you don't want to touch it. Leave it for the minute, let it do its job, flip it to the other side, then the side and a half. Now I cook my steak for about seven and a half minutes at 450 degrees and it comes out perfect medium rare. Just pink inside. If you want it a little more done, you can go to eight minutes. I wouldn't go much farther than that. And obviously if you want it rare, you can do it for seven minutes. When you put it in the oven, I suggest you use a timer. If you try to guess by looking at a clock, you can be off by 30, 40 seconds and it will make a huge difference. Another thing that I suggest, especially for someone who's not familiar with cooking, is have all of the utensils that you're gonna need at your disposal so you're not running around trying to find stuff as you're going. And it really is that simple. And this meal will be ready so quickly. You got about 15 more seconds before we flip the stick. Now I'm going to sear this for another minute. Then I'm going to flip it back over and the steak itself will cook in the oven 450 degrees. And so that first layer that I wanted to create the really great sear on will also sear through the entire cooking process. And that really traps in the juices and it also gives a great texture layer, uh, especially if you've got a marbled meat or some fat in the meat. Uh, it really helps crisp that up. 
And now I'll show you a joke. <laughs> One other thing I do feel I need to explain, uh, why do I have tinfoil on my oven? Uh, I have found that certainly cooking with anything that's going to splatter like this, uh, if you put the tinfoil around the other cooking surfaces on the cooktop, all you have to do is pull the tinfoil off and you do not have to clean your oven and it is a massive time saver. And you will be grateful because then you can actually sit down and enjoy your meal. So I take the rosemary at the final stage of the sear. I throw in the rosemary and the garlic and immediately you can smell the flavor coming from the meat and, and all of these herbs. And it really makes your house smell like a home. It, it, it's just fantastic. So I'm going to flip this back again. And you can see the color there. Now I'm going to take the pan and I'm going to put it in the oven medium rack and I'm going to take my timer and I'm going to go to seven and a half minutes and I'm going to wait. See you in a second. Now the steak has to rest. It's going to continue cooking for five to ten minutes after you've finished. And a secret that a friend of mine taught me uh, that is really pretty amazing is that you take two spoons like this and you rest the steak on that so that it's not only getting air from the top but from underneath and it really does cook through uh, and it's a little secret that I'm passing on. Just a few more minutes and then we'll pull the steak out. Bye. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this with my glasses on because the risk of burning myself is just too high. Take the steak out. Again, the heat from the oven will make the tin foil move. Normally I fasten it a little better than that. But I'm nervous. Um, take the steak out of the pan. Now, this is something that I have done a number of times, but that's pretty much because I can be pretty stupid. Uh, I will take my glove off to do something else and then I'll grab the pan. The pan is incredibly hot. So don't take the glove off to get rid of the rosemary and the garlic. Some people like to eat the cooked garlic. It is incredibly good for you. A little too strong for my taste. And then straight into the sink. If you have a sprayer, take it for the handle just to cool it down and get it started. Fill it up with water. That is done. Now, the cool part. You get to take all of this off, and your stove top is perfectly clean. Done. We'll let the steak sit for about five minutes, and then we'll cut into it and show you what we've done. The steak rests for about five minutes. I'm going to take it off the spoons. I'm going to take the spoons, put them in the pan, in the sink. And now we're going to cut it open. I'm going to cut it at an angle. There you see it's perfectly pink in the middle. And incredibly juicy and incredibly flavorful. This entire meal took less than 20 minutes to prepare from unpacking the groceries to having it here on the cutting board. Try it out, I think you're gonna love it. This is how it's done. Now this is how it's done.